Oh, my name's Warren Ogden, and I, I uh, try to make pots. <laughs> Originally, uh, uh, King Arroy down that way, I come off a farm down there. I, I live in Townsville now, yeah. Been here for 25 years. Mainly because of my wife Catherine, I suppose, she was doing a TAFE course doing ceramics and painting and what have you. So I, I've always liked ceramics, I've always even bought a bit over the years. And so I um, thought I'd give it a go too. So I did a few lessons on the wheel and uh, that didn't work out real well actually because it turned out I had a heart problem so that <laughs> it was a bit hard. Anyway, so I took to um, hand building and I, yeah, I can, sort of cope with that, yeah. I think uh, because you've got to stay focused all the time too and you can't just let it go and sit back and relax and look at it because uh, it'll just, it, that doesn't work. So that's when I decided to try um, hand building with coils and things like that. So, and I, I really enjoy that because you can take a rest if you want, yeah. I do like wood-fired pottery, I have to admit. I like uh, anyone that makes, um, well, I guess something that's fairly organic. I, I don't, uh, I'm not into really fancy design or anything like that. I like it, but it's not something that I could possibly even do. I, yeah. So something fairly simple, yeah, and a bit wobbly usually. <laughs> I really liked the shape. It, it came out really well. Uh, I was very happy with it. I thought, I, th I thought it was good enough to put forward, yeah. I didn't expect to win anything with it, I have to admit. <laughs> that was the last thing on my mind. But uh, anyway, uh, I, I'm happy with it. Well, probably all up, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, it'll probably be a couple of months from the time you start making it. Probably two days, three days maybe on and off, uh, and then um, it's got to dry then for at least a week, but probably in this case, probably about a month. Uh, and then it's got to be glazed, I mean, sorry, fired, uh, what they call a bisque firing, and then um, put some glaze on it and put it in to fire it again. And uh, it would have went, well, we set it at 1280 degrees centigrade but our kiln always fires a bit hotter, so it knocks over cone 10, which is at 1300 degrees centigrade, so it's, it's definitely stoneware. Well, I don't have a studio as such. I, I do work just in the backyard. I've got a table out in the backyard under a big wattle tree, so that's where I do most of my work. And as far as things that I can't do without, well, I don't know for sure. I think it's just the peace and quiet sometimes uh, that I really like. Birds coming in and things like that. We have a lot of birds in our yard and things like that. So that does help you relax a lot. And yeah, so that's something I probably couldn't do without. I, yeah, that's probably why I do enjoy it. Well, I guess just try your hardest, I suppose. Yeah, it's something, I suppose. It's always been instilled in me, yeah. You've got to make it for yourself. That's the way I feel. Don't make it for somebody else. And if, if you make it for yourself and you're happy with it, that's good enough. Uh, that's the way I look at it anyway. Because the moment I start thinking, well, I've got to make something that looks like somebody that, something that somebody might like because it's got to be that style, that doesn't work. Yeah, you, when it comes to this sort of thing, for me anyway, it's got, you, forget about exhibitions and things like that, you're making it just for yourself. Yeah, I get a lot of positive feedback. Uh, uh, if I do get criticism, and I haven't heard it directly to my face, I suppose, <laughs> I don't know, but I do have had a lot of positive from different people, people that have bought my work and things like that, and I just hope they're happy. They must be happy they buy it, so... And uh, I, I guess that makes me feel really good, yeah, to think people think it's good enough to put it in their home. Probably not long after 
I started, uh, which was about 2012, and I sold my first piece here, actually, the Purse Tucker. That, um, actually, I did, it was a little vase. And actually, one of the uh, young girls that worked here, she bought it. I can't, don't remember her name, but uh, yeah, I remember I came in one day and they said, oh, you've sold it. And I said, uh, who bought it? And they said, oh, one of the staff. And they, they did name it. I don't know whether she, I don't think she's here any more now, but uh, she was then. So that was the first one I ever sold, yeah. Yes, uh, I do. Uh, now, it's, uh, I, I don't remember his name, but it's down in the, downstairs, the big one with the, uh, the white one with the black stripes. There's another one in the next, next uh, the little room there, the big, uh, the garden bowl. So, yeah. But the one with the, the black and white one, it was, since I walked in the door, I saw it and I thought, ah, that's the one. And I, everything else is amazing, but um, it's, I guess it suits more, the, more the way I uh, think. Um, and that's why I like it so much, yeah. Well, it stays fairly busy, I suppose. It, um, we've met a lot of people through there. Um, <laughs> they're just really good people. They've helped us a lot from, from when we first started there. Catherine and I joined as members. Uh, actually, I remember Fiona Banner. She took us under her wing. Yeah, she, she helped us out a lot, didn't she? Yeah. Uh, and still does, I guess, when we get to see her sometimes, yeah. But um, no, actually a wonderful group of people and we've learned a lot from them, yeah. <laughs>